Hey everyone, today we're going to check out an abandoned hydroelectric dam down this overgrown road. In a few spots you can still see the yellow lines. Like right here, those are two faint yellow lines. We're now going to walk off of the abandoned road a bit. One thing I did not miss with the past month or so of no rain is the mosquitoes. It just rained a little bit, not enough to get us out of a drought, but a lot of mosquitoes now. like a ton of mosquitoes around now. Wow, this is so cool. We visited this hydroelectric dam a couple years back during the 2020 drought and we went in the downstairs part of it, which we can't do this year because the river's a lot higher now since the area where the river's coming from is actually getting a decent amount of rain. In the downstairs, you can see the actual turbine that the water would have turned and it would have come up here to turn this to generate power. The reason we didn't come up here last year is because it's fenced in. This year you can see somebody has pushed it down. This is a very dangerous place. In there the floor is completely compromised right beyond the stairs you see you could fall through there's a bunch of patchwork here which is pretty recent they know people come here even when the fence is intact and that's just to minimize someone possibly falling through so last time we were able to walk right in underneath here but as you can see there's a ton of water going inside of it right now Look at this, there would have been a wooden deck being held with those bolts completely rotted away. Let's go see if we can find any way down to the shore so I can show you again. A lot of spider webs here. Yeah, this fence is down everywhere. Last year the fence was very, very new, but it looks like all the local kids have smashed it down. There's an abundance of knockdown fence. And there's a lot of poison ivy too. That's what all this is. Wow, there's so many aggressive mosquitoes here. This year, 
I barely had to wear bug spray since all the ponding water in the forest has mostly dried up from the drought. But all it took was one rainstorm a couple days later. Lots of mosquitoes around now. So this is the building that we were just on top of. I can see there's a trampled down trail of other people coming down here to visit the place. Maybe animals too walking the shore. It's actually way easier access than it used to be. Last time I came down here two years ago, it was very, very overgrown, the area. Earlier today, I was actually just up north quite a ways more, and the Connecticut River all the way doesn't seem very low, like a lot of the other rivers in the area. I was so far north this morning that you could literally cross the Connecticut River with it only being below your ankles. Wow, we might actually be able to get right up to this thing. I attempted it last year and it wasn't doable. But I guess the water is still technically a lot lower than it typically would be. Last time we were here, there was so many hooing pigeons. Look at that ladder. I bet a lot of people use that to get upstairs when the fences first went up. Whoa! Pigeon just flew up the hole where the ladder was. Yep, they're still in here. It's a lot louder in here. Last time there was barely any water trickling through here. So I guess I caught the pigeons off guard. So here's where the water would have spun that turbine. And it would have gone upstairs to turn the generator. really cool while the water got high enough to put this up here recently it's too muddy to walk back there I'm gonna sink way too deep is this a grill Yeah, somebody may have been having a barbecue in here. And it looks really, really old, like it could have been here a while. But rivers deposit the sand everywhere. And when they're flowing really heavy where it would be flooding over this, like during a storm or after the spring thaw, it will sandblast metal. That's why the bottoms of all the culverts, even ones that were installed only a year prior, are so rusty on the bottom. The high river currents roll rocks through there, sand, sediment, it basically is sandblasting it. It removes all the galvanization, is usually what's on it, and then it starts rusting. A lot of times, if the culvert has a lot of water going through it, It'll actually stay shiny. It gets blasted away so often. 
Well, I hope today's short video was interesting. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.